This video will go over real-time flight tracking in Limo Anywhere and how to set up and use. Flight tracking and getting flight information is a vital part of the travel industry for Limo operators and passengers as well. Now in Limo Anywhere there is two ways to track flights. Um, you can do it manually via Flight Aware or Flight View or you can do it automatically via Flight Stats uh, integration with Limo Anywhere. Now first I'm going to go over how to set up automatic flight tracking with flight stats. So first on a reservation once you enter in the pickup date, pickup time, airport, airline and put in the flight number it's automatically going to verify that flight you can also have it update the pickup time uh, based on that flight as well. So there's an optional setting inside my office, company preferences, reservations. This update pickup time based on arrival flights, ETA and flight offset. So what this means is that Limo Anywhere will monitor the arrival flights ETA the pickup time on the reservation will always be updated to match the arrival flight's ETA plus the amount of time the chauffeur should arrive after the flight's ETA. So on each reservation you will set that flight offset. So if you set this to guess it will automatically update that pickup time for each reservation based on the selection of the flight offset. So I'm going to leave this uh, on for yes change it to that and update it and we'll go over setting up that flight offset on a reservation so we'll start a new reservation and I'm just going to put in the billing contact passenger pickup dates going to be um, for tomorrow and then uh, pickup time now I'll select airport and you'll see here this driver should arrive this setting here you can do it at 330 don't update the pickup time on this particular reservation when the flight arrives so it'll update the pickup time to the ETA of the flight 15 minutes after gate arrival 30 minutes after 45 60 90 or 120 minutes after as well so if you select 15 minutes after gate arrival for instance and the pickup times 330 it will keep that offset so when the flight arrives, it'll be 15 minutes um, after that gate arrival that the pickup, uh, pickup time will change to. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a flight here. Put in the airport, the airline. And put in the flight number here and then um, driver can arrive when the flight arrives you can set up your airport pickup instructions any routing notes as well if you need to I'm gonna go ahead and click on create and that will create this pickup here um, you will see um, the airport code where it's arriving uh, from the airline flight number and the ETA time so that's all you need to do to set the offset on a reservation if you need to change that offset you can edit the routing and change it to a, a different offset if you need to and click update 
You can click cancel if you don't need to make any changes on that. Now, you can also track multiple flights on a reservation as well. So, to track multiple flights, you can only have one pickup and one drop off in the routing. Any other flight needs to be a stop or a wait. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a, another flight for uh, DAL and put in another flight number here, so 41. You'll notice that the flight offset is not appearing on this particular routing because we've already set it for the pickup. That way we know which flight to update the pickup time on. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a wait. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that this is the arrival. And then we will choose a drop off address. So the routing would look something like this. You would have a pickup, waits and stops in between, and one drop off. We're going to go ahead and save this. Now that we have multiple flights on this reservation, to track those, you can do it on the dispatch screen. So we'll go ahead and go to the dispatch screen. We'll go to tomorrow. So you'll see that flight, 330. You'll see here on multiple flights, it will show with a little notepad icon. If you hover over it, it will give you um, the flight information for each of those flights. If there's only one flight on the reservation, then it'll just show that information in those columns. To add these columns, you can go under Grid Setup, and then down below just find the Flight Stats Scheduled Time, Actual Time, Terminal Gate, and Status. Check mark those move them where you want them on your grid and update it. Now if you are wanting to track the flights manually via FlightAware or Flight View, you can do that as well. You can just right click and go to Flight Tracker, FlightAware or Flight View. Also you can do that with multiple flights as well. So on this multiple flight I can go to flight tracker and flight view or flight aware and it'll ask me which one I want to track I can click on the one I want to track and it'll send me to flight aware to track that flight just be aware that we track via flight stats on the dispatch and then manually it's flight aware and flight view um, through the dispatch menu. The times may differ. It's all based on the third party and where they're getting their information from and how often they update it. That concludes this video on flight tracking and how to set it up and use it. If you have any more questions, please reach out to our support team. Thank you.